One out of three individuals between 60 and 70 have hearing loss. Eight out of 10 people over 85. So it's very, very common and unfortunately, only about a third of these people get their hearing loss fixed. There's many different reasons for that. Sometimes they just don't realize that, they've, that they have hearing loss. Sometimes they think it's just too expensive or cumbersome. And that's a problem because hearing loss can lead to decreased mental function. If you're not talking to people, if you're not interacting, if you're not doing activities that you use your mind, you end up losing some of your mental cap capacities. In addition, you can lose independence and hearing loss can lead to depression. So it is important that it get treated. And the mainstay of treatment are, is hearing aids. Hearing aids come in all different sizes and shapes, different costs, and sometimes this can be a little bit daunting. These amplifiers, the most of the cost of a hearing aid is shrinking down the size so that it can be next to the ear. Well, these amplifiers are about the size of a cell phone and they cost anywhere from $30 to $130. Putting this on an, an elderly hearing impaired patient and having them here for the first time in a long time is just an, an, an amazing experience. It can really affect the quality of life, their life and sometimes this is all that they need. They don't need an expensive hearing aid. They're not going to lose this. It's going to be real easy for them to use. So. Get the word out that these devices are available. You can get them on Amazon, relatively inexpensive. In addition, there are things that, uh, that again, this device is just very simple to use. There are devices that can help hearing impaired patients with some of their daily activities. Here's a cell phone dock that lights up and vibrates when there's a text message or, it's, or a phone call that comes in. There are iPhone applications that if there's a loud noise, it alerts the person with a, uh, with a vibration if an alarm goes off, a loud noise in the, in the house. There are 911 services for, for hearing impaired patients who have an emergency. If they register with 911 early, this service will make it to where 911 and first responders will come without necessarily having to talk with someone on the phone. If someone has hearing loss, it's good to get in to see the doctor. Sometimes it can be just because of a, an earwax blockage. That can be fixed really quite easily. If there's a sudden hearing loss, that can be a sign that of, some, of, a, of a more serious medical condition. So that's important to get checked out. Hearing loss can affect the quality of life. So if you or someone you know has hearing loss, be sure and, and have them get it fixed, get it evaluated. That's a minute for health.